you've heard the statistic, right? 95% of day traders, they blow up their initial account. And from that point on, 90% will go on to give up and quit day trading entirely. So in this video, I'm going to explain to you why 95% of traders fail and how to give yourself the best shot at becoming one of the 5% that are profitable long term. Right out of the gate, one of the worst thing that leads to blowing up accounts is setting unrealistic expectation. I have heard so many people, myself included, when I thought things were going to be way easier than they were, have the unrealistic expectation of making X amount of dollars every week or month in the market. That's just not how it goes. It ebbs and flows. And if you can find yourself, like most traders do, to making that target amount each week or month, if you don't hit that number, it becomes a negative thing in your mind. You force trades, end up making a lot of bad trades, which ends up, you guessed it, blowing up your account. If you're one of those people who think that, oh, it's going to be easy, I'll hop on my phone, I'll hop on my computer for an hour here, an hour there, and you're going to make consistent profits, you're in for a rude awakening. Now, you may see traders oh, on YouTube, on Instagram, trading that way, but I guarantee you it's based on multiple years and many, many hours of trading work, detailing a strategy, and honing their skill. That's not just somebody picking up the phone for the first time, opening an app, and getting it right 90% of the time. To set clear expectations from day one, you need to understand that it is a long game. Give yourself more opportunities to make winning trades versus focusing on your P&L, your profit and loss in the beginning. Don't put a value on how much you want to make. It's good to have goals long term, but get the basics down first, the fundamentals of how you're going to trade, more of which we'll talk about very shortly. The next thing that often trips up traders and leads to an account blow up and ultimately traders quitting is demo account mismanagement or paper trading that isn't done the way it's intended to be done. Look, these practice accounts are there for you for exactly that, practice. But you have to practice the way you're going to trade in your real account. What I mean by this is the big mistake people make is putting a million, two million, three million into their demo accounts, 100,000, whatever it may be, and then going in and trading when they open up their real account with $1,000, $2,000. What do you think is going to happen when you have a trade in your demo account that goes negative $5,000? And in your real account, you only have $3,500 of capital. Like you would close that trade. It's not aligning with your strategy. So it's good practice if you can instead to set your demo account, the amount of funds you intend to fund your real account with. That way... The trade feels more real and you can actually practice and get the reps in that are going to mimic exactly what's going to happen or as much as possible in your real trading and funded account. You with me? Cool. Next is the requirement and ultimate lack of time that leads to many people burning out and quitting trading altogether. There is time required to invest in learning. There is time required to invest in losing. There is time required to invest and keep it going and keep learning from those losses. Many traders, they will give up after a few kind of hits to the chin and they'll start wobbling that ultimately they'll go all in on one position leading to a kind of quick in and out into day trading and understanding that, oh, didn't work out, it's not for me, see you later. You have to have the long game in mind and make decisions and make repeatable systems that you can scale up in small doses and just repeat them over time. You have to commit to learning, to journaling your trades, to getting better 1% each trade that you make. And if you can do those things and stack those skills over time, eventually it's kind of like when you're at the diner and you're stacking up the milk, the 2% milk cups up and up and up and making the pyramid. Every single 2%, 1% you're putting on that pyramid makes you that much better, makes you that much more experienced. You learn from the losses, you harness them into wins and long-term you get better but the quick hitters just aren't there for day trading, which leads to a lot of people quitting and failing. The fourth big reason is lack of emotional control. As a human being, it is just generally accepted that we really suck at sucking. It's uncomfortable. And if you're bad at something, you don't really want to do it that often, or you just don't care about it as much. That is just the reality of the world we're in. Humans suck at sucking. We want things to be easy. And we often, I know myself, get pissed when they're not. 
It takes work. And what happens when we make a bad trade or when we lose, it has a negative effect on us that we want to win back those losses quickly. We want to redeem ourselves and prove to ourselves that we don't suck as much as we think we do. But what ends up happening in the stock market, when the market hits you and you try to hit it back, the market will take all that negative energy and swing it right back around, direct it right back at you. Ultimately leading into making bad emotional trades that take on way too much risk compared to the reward. I'm not understanding exactly what you're doing. Trying something new for the first time, though properly practicing like we just talked about. And doing these kind of one-off or YOLO trades where you don't care about the result. It's risk management devoid of any management at all. It's just super, super high on risk and leads to accounts blowing up and ultimately leads to traders saying, I'm done, I'm walking away. This isn't for me. And one of the biggest reasons on top of everything we covered so far today is that there is no plan. It's said in trading, if you plan your trades and trade your plans, you will have success more often than not. Sometimes even the best well-laid plans fail, depending on what the market is going to give you. There are external events that you can't always predict that affect your plan. But if you can understand why you're making the trade, when you're going to make it, how you're going to actually execute it, what kind of methodology or platform you're going to use, and how it takes you closer to your overall trading goals, that is a system for repeatable success long into the future. If you stick with a system like that, you document your trades in a journal, you have your established setup, what you're looking for in the chart for technical analysis, all these things will make you a better and more consistent trader. You're not always going to win, but as we've said, there's other things you can kind of do to combat that, to learn from those losses and make them winners in the future. Don't do this and you run the risk, again, of blowing up your account, setting your funds on fire, and joining the statistic of 95% of traders, again, that quit day trading altogether. So if you're with me at this point, I'm going to guess that you're new to trading and you got a little bit of value out of this video, which is great. If you want even more value about how options trading works, especially for a new beginner like yourself, I invite you to check out my course available at www.tradingoptionsdaily.com slash options dash academy. I will put a link in the description of this video. It is all about getting started in less than one hour with the basics of options, call options, put options, everything you need to know to get you started at the beginner level. Check that out. Thank you for watching. I will catch you on the next one.